Dear viewers, I welcome you all to this video on Arduino and IoT based pick and place robotic setup. Uh, I'm Dr. Sandil Kumar. It's a three degrees of freedom uh, pick and place robotic system. Uh, it can pick the object from the base station and that object can be placed in any one of the five stations. It's a five station pick and place robotic setup. Let's see the highlight of it. Here, all the parts were made in house at the facility available at Bharat TBA. The Bharat TBA has facility on four different verticals, namely laser based technology, uh, 3D printing technology, electric vehicles, and uh, Arduino on the region. So, this particular project or the prototype required the two verticals available in Bharat TBA. They are uh, fiber laser cutting machine technology and uh, Arduino on the region. This particular uh, project, the mechanical assembly and its electronics were done in house. Uh, this particular concept can be scaled up to any size, any degrees of freedom, and any payload capacity. Now, let's see the CAD model actually. So, this is the CAD model. As usual, we make the CAD model in SolidWorks. Uh, all the parts and assembly after making it will assemble and we just Analyze it. Uh, once it is successful and convincing, then only we go in for uh, making the component actually. So now I just pass this video. Now I just show you. So this is this motor will move the platform in to and fro direction or I could say y direction. This motor will tilt the entire arm either clockwise or anti clockwise direction. This solenoid will lift up and down the arm. So this is axis 1, axis 2, axis 3. That is why I said it's a 3 axis or 3 degrees of freedom system. Of course, this is the gripper unit. Even the gripper unit, uh, uh, we used uh, acrylic parts that has been made using the uh, CO2 laser cutting machine available at Bharat TV. Now you see the parts, these are the standard parts uh, obtained from uh, using the uh, fiber laser cutting machine available in Bharat TBI and you could see the stepper 2 stepper motors, one for linear and one for rotation. These two are the controller boards that controls the stepper motor and this is the solenoid to lift up and down the arm and these three are the linear bearings and of course we use the computer SMPS for uh, supplying the power to all the stepper motors, solenoid and the Arduino board. Now this is the setup. Now you could see the full assembly of uh, the setup. So this is the base station I could say or the home position. The object should be kept here actually. Okay. After uh, object is kept uh, here, this can be operated by two modes. Mode 1 using the buttons provided in the machine itself. Mode 2, through mobile phone, you can control and operate it. Uh, I, I said it's a 5 station. This is station 1, station 2, 3, 4 and 5. So after picking the object from here, uh, you can choose either station 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. So uh, here there are 5 buttons, you know. So if you press this button, uh, this will pick the object from the base station it will keep it on station 1. This is for 2, 3, 4 and this one for 5. So, okay, in the uh, mobile phone, uh, this is for 1, this is for 2, this is for 3, 4 and 5. So through that, uh, uh, likewise, you can operate, control and operate this uh, 3 axis uh, robotic system either through buttons or through mobile phone. But in this video, I will show only the uh, mobile mode of uh, operation only. And you could see the electronics uh, more uh, closely here. Now uh, you can see uh, the Arduino is somewhere here. Uh, this is the Bluetooth module and the stepper motor controller 1, stepper motor controller 2. This is the relay board for controlling the solenoid. Uh, these are the buttons I said earlier. Uh, this is for station 1, station 2, station 3, station 4 and of course station. Uh, let us see the 
picking and placing the object uh, from base station to station one and so on. So this is the general view of uh, the full setup. Then we'll see the first one. You see that object is picked after putting the button here in the mobile phone. Object is picked from the base station. Uh, it is placing it on the station one. Okay. Then the next slide video, I'll show you the station two. Okay. So for uh, saving our time, I'm just uh, uh, speeding up the video actually. Now, object is placed at the station two here. Then station three. It picks up here, and station three is somewhere here at the back side. The stepper motor two will be tilted through 180 degree in clockwise direction. Now you see from the home position. The object is kept at station three. Then station four. Object is picked from the home position. Then keeps it here. Station four. The station five. Uh, motor one will not rotate. Motor two will rotate, operate. Okay. So station five picks up here. It will turn through 180 degree and it keeps at station five. So like that we model. Design, model, uh, and executed this particular project. Everything is in house. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, the con this concept can be expanded, explored further, uh, even uh, to any number of axis of system or any degrees of freedom. Number one, number two, uh, it can be a bigger one also. Even the payload capacity also. Even uh, you can go up to even uh, 10 kg or even 100 kg also. So, but for those, this is the base or this is the basic concept. Hope uh, you all got some information about uh, how we executed the project using the facilities available in Bharat TBI uh, for the mechanical components. And uh, when it comes to electronics for the Arduino and IoT, it has been through the facility available in house. We made everything uh, uh, inside our uh, uh, Bharat TBI and we executed this project. Hope. You got some information about uh, this particular project. Thank you for watching.